Nothing makes a sewer more frustrated than trying to sew through multiple layers and the sewing machine isn't cooperating. Instead of ripping out your hair, follow along to see some easy tips and tricks to make your sewing easier. First, realize that not all consumer grade sewing machines can handle heavy duty sewing. Trying to force your machine to handle more than they were built to do may cause damage. Treat your sewing machine with care. If you have thick seams, consider grading them. This means you're cutting your seam allowances at different lengths to help cut down on bulk. You can use a rubber mallet or a tailor's clapper to flatten seams as much as possible. Just make sure you protect your fabric if you use the hammer method by putting another fabric in between. For either of these methods, use steam to soften the fabric fibers and then flatten. Sometimes straight pins can make pinned areas more bulky, so consider using clips instead. Make sure you're using the right size needle. For thicker fabrics or lots of layers, you can use a size 9014 or 116 for a stronger needle. If your thread keeps breaking, you can use heavy duty thread, but I usually still use all purpose in the bobbin and heavy duty for the upper thread. Practice on scraps to find the correct tension settings. I usually use a higher thread tension and a lower presser foot pressure. Increase the stitch length. Instead of a two, do a 2.5 or a three. I find that using a walking foot helps in getting over difficult areas, so if you have one, it's great to use. Sew slowly over difficult areas. If you try to sew fast, you might break a needle. For getting over hard spots, use the hand wheel to manually sew instead of using the foot pedal. If you're not using a walking foot, there are other tricks you can use. If the presser foot is not level, the machine has trouble moving the fabric forward. You can buy a leveler like this one. With the needle down, lift the foot and place it under the presser foot, either in front of or behind the needle in order to level the foot. If you don't have this tool, you can use a small stack of scrap fabric to do something similar, stacking just enough to even out the foot, again, so slowly. If you're having difficulty doing a top stitch, cut or grade the seam allowance down as much as you can and do the top stitch a little further away than normal so you don't also have to go through all the seam allowances. If after all this and your machine is still having trouble, sew as much as you can using your sewing machine and then sew the problem areas by hand using a thicker needle like a size three or four. Sewing through thick layers can be tricky, but it doesn't have to be impossible. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.